Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comic Gamer Movie Show podcast. podcast. Yeah, it's a podcast, that's what it is. Now, well, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Mainly Deshaun told me about this, and <laughs> I didn't know this until now. So There's a lot of things from DC to Star Wars to gaming community, but I want to start off in Star Wars land. Do you know they're making a Han Solo movie? Yes. No, no, not the Han Solo. I mean, Obi Wan Kenobi movie. Yeah, I know that. I they're knew making. That. They're talking about making a Jabba the Hutt movie oh, about the Seth. Hutt. They're talking about making. They're talking about the Dude, Boba Fett. I'm so, about, I'm a, Seth, how would you not know about Kenobi? No, they're planning on making a movie. You saw. One, two, three, four, five. You saw f- five, six movies with the bastard. Like you don't need to know about Kenobi. Hutt. No, Maybe. this movie, what it's going to do, it's going to fill in the gap between three and four. That's what, it's supposed to be what he was doing in between, which I thought he was a recluse in between, but he apparently fought. he's not. He did fight. Dude, that's, you know what, that's, it, you know, this this is going to be a Rogue One all over again. It's, no one can't, no one, no one ever asked what well, uh, Obi-Wan ever did. Well, you better scrap I mean, in. I was kind of curious. Well, you better scrap yeah, in. You and... I because at this point we're it's gonna like get, you know in that time what'd you do, dude? At this point we're gonna get a CP. No one cares. We're gonna get a C. <laughs> no one, no movie. one asked about Rogue One. No one cared about Rogue no, One. Rogue One's a sequel that was good but didn't need to be had. It wasn't a sequel. It was a this, all these movies are oh, making the prequel that it's like a movie that was good but didn't need to. That's happen. what Star Wars not, is about well, to do right Obi Wan. Obi Wan doesn't really need to happen. But but if it's, it's good, it's good. They're making a Yoda movie too. I'm that happy. one I I'm actually love to see. I want to see Yoda. His, they, they his younger him. Yoda. That might, would be cool. They might be turning... I showed you young Yoda. He looked badass as fuck. Either they're turning Boba Fett into a show, or they're turning it into a movie. I heard it was going to be a Netflix series. That would oh, be... Well, well fucking Disney finally, Disney finally my favorite that. fucking character. Because... Of course movies. you like the because Boba, we, Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah, because we didn't mention this before. Disney is about to launch their own streaming service in 2019. Yep. And I'm pretty sure they're going to wait to release this Boba, some of this stuff on their service to get people to do it. You think that's why they've been being so hush-hush about it? Yeah, I think that's why they're being hush-hush, because they're going to release it. You know what they're going to do? It's going to be like one of the big shows they're going to be promoting when they release it. They're going to be like, the Boba Fett. Like, some show about Boba Fett. And you're going to be like, whoa, Star Wars people are going to be like, I gotta go see this. Yep, because they're trying to say the big things to attract you in so that when they leave Netflix. Yeah, like I said, Obi Wan and Jabba are just. I don't whatever. get Jabba. That I don't yeah, get. I don't get how they're gonna make a movie about a slug. <laughs> about <laughs> big a worm. Big old fat slug. Hey, you never see that move, the, really. Well, that's the head of one of the biggest crime organizations in the planet. You know, the entire galaxy. And you know, the, the bigger a hut is, that's a big sign of what. Now, if they did an original movie about Actually, someone who it's dealt age. with Jabba, that'd be cool. But a movie about him, about Jabba, it's just like. Jabba, you know, in the books, Jabba was kind of interesting because it. Because, well, well, the books gave a different light on Jabba in the movies. You see, Jabba was always portrayed as just this kind of douchebag mm-hmm. cartel guy. Well, it the didn't books, do, it's not too far from that. Well, no, no. In the books, it, it gave more. So that's but why the, I'm like, it doesn't really need. <laughs> he's thing he's still a dick either way. <laughs> he's still a dick. Yeah, but it was like he's actually he was actually kind of funny in the books. Some of the shit he would just say. It's like what. How are you gonna follow that for an entire, an entire movie? The thing is, you brought up before this prequel, this prequel thing hey, going this on. Prequel and they're making prequels they're of making everything. Prequel. Make you prequel. get a prequel. You get a prequel. They're you just, get a prequel. There's, there's yeah. one guy everyone wants a movie for. What? Revan. Hmm? I mean, Revan. Oh, that's a tough one. That'd be a badass movie, though. Yeah, but Revan is such a weirdo when it comes to the freaking universe. Just, I mean, it, he's a badass, though. That's no, he is, wants. but it's that's, that's what everyone wants from him. Yeah. I want a Tulak Horde movie. I want to see him crash meteors into planets. I wanted a Yoda movie. I'm glad I'm getting it. Uh, well, that I actually would. Well, that that I actually like. Hey, man, like I said, they're coming out with a ton of prequel slash. I still haven't heard movie. anything about Blade Runner. Blade Runner? I, mean, I haven't heard. I've not heard very much about it. I mean, after the trailers came out, I haven't really seen a review but, or whatnot for it. So I'm still gonna see Kenobi. It sounds good. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Blade Runner, um, the Alien franchise has been put on ice. Oh, fuck yeah, because, like, it's been put nice Alien 5, it. Alien it's 5 covered. was supposed, that's what I heard, Alien 5 was supposed to be the closer to the franchise, it was supposed to be the last movie, Everyone's, everything's gonna be closed, Ripley's story's gonna be closed, but everyone's story's going to be closed. And they came out with Covenant, mm-hmm. because Ridley Scott is a prick. Hey! <laughs> yeah! Ridley Scott turned into George Lucas for one movie, I was like, Damn. Oh my God. No, he did, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he Because really Alien did. Covenant 1 was... I'm not going to criticize it for being a prequel because it's bad. Alien Covenant, to me, didn't need to happen, number one. I really... You know what? I wish it didn't happen. I kind of like the mystery of where the aliens came from. Mm-hmm. I like the mystery of the space jockeys and the weird aliens and shit like that. I like the mystery behind That's why I don't like prequels. Because I actually like to, to imagine what yeah, they come did. up with your own idea. Come up with your own ideas. There. That's the best part about it. That's why I hate prequels. That's the main reason why I hate prequels. That's why I like people like the extended universe for Star Wars because it was all like out there in the open. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fair, fair point, but it's just like, well, extended God, extended universe. That, that's a whole other can of worms. I don't want to get into. Yeah, but you love the extended universe. It wasn't bad. It, it, it wasn't my no. My favorite is Old Republic. Old mm-hmm. Republic lore is my favorite. I love Old Republic, but no, the extended universe was bad. I do like it. In, in some I, bits. I, I liked I liked all the I liked all the all Luke's kids and that that was cool. Mm-hmm. Like I said, weird thing. Like for me, the extended universe was kind of a, a really mixed bag of nuts because it was like some of it was good, some parts of it were just why, and other parts were like, oh, okay. The stuff between, well, I mean, we were. Old it. Republic, there was almost barely anything I hated about Old Republic. I loved Old Republic. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Like, if you played the games, I mean, it's pretty good. No, like, the Old Republic books, comics, lore, everything about it. Not just the games, but everything oh, I like about it. Yeah, that's like, what, Knights of the Old Republic is one of my favorite saying, Star Wars of, games of all time. A lot of people are saying that they they haven't touched that because they're going to do it on their, um, Disney's going to do it on their last I hope service. they do, because, the, like, Old Republic Like I say, so they're trying, like, Disney's trying to set it up to where if, you, if you're a Star Wars fan, you gotta come here. You gotta come here. And that's a lot of money right there, just off the bat. Yeah, here's, yeah, cause here's what I was thinking. I was like, you know what? Disney knows that they don't need Netflix. They don't. No and one really does. Netflix is panicking right now, dude. Like, Netflix, because they don't own any of their... Like, this is something that I just discovered myself. They don't own any of their... You know, it says Netflix original, but they are they don't own any of those Oh, yeah. yeah. Shows. It's like the Seven Deadly Sins anime on there. They're not, they don't own that. They don't own it. Like, at any moment, those the guys who make it could just take it. Yeah. So Marvel, if they wanted to, could just say, Defenders, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Luke Cage. Go on. We're <laughs> with us. I was here to say, because I remember, like, I thought they were going to stay, and I was like, oh, God. They, they got could. two years. 2019. They might be gone. That's when the contract is over. Yeah, that's when the contract's over, and like and stuff, they're gonna take all their all their Disney original. They're gonna take all their shows, all their um everything, all the Marvel movies. That means Gravity Falls will be gone. God damn it! And it's gonna be you know something. People are gonna buy that channel because unless they kind of transfer into like because a lot of people are angry about Disney doing this. They're like, oh, another channel I have to got another you know what I mean like another streaming service I have to pay for. Gaze upon my empire of joy. But in my mind, I'm like, dude, Disney has so many properties. They got they got the Toy Story, they got Pixar, they, they got, own they everything. They got Star Wars, Marvel. They got Indiana Jones. Don't they own ESPN too? Yes, they own ESPN. They own the entire ESPN. They own show. They own ABC and some of these other channels too. Do they own, do they own the porn? No. no. The funny story. Funny story. Like, okay, it's gonna be a sidetrack story. Little story to talk about. Did you know? It wasn't Pornhub. Um, it was. I think it was. Yeah. Uh, there's a porn <laughs> site. This. That's trying to get into producing live action movies, but not, not like por- not pornos, not, not pornos like Just actual movies. legit movies. They got the money for it. I can't remember which site it is. I think it's like X Hamster. I think it would be Pornhub because Pornhub's the biggest one. Yeah, probably. The one. It's a mul- well. Think about it. The industry is a multi million dollar industry. Yeah, and they're trying to get in on like funding like a show. That's what they're trying. The first time to do. They're trying to step in the foot of door of producing bigger movies. I'm like, you Who know, knew the big dick John would pay for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wow. I hey, thought man. that was hilarious. Hey dude. man. If, if if all these actors can do it, so can Mandingo. <laughs> <laughs> this is just gonna, this is gonna be the section where I start rattling like funny Pretty things. Off. By the way, there's this um AMC um AMC theaters which they are about to start. They might start next year doing a thing where if you pay ten dollars a month, you get to see a free movie a day. Really? Yeah. That's weird. That's actually a decent amount. I was like, it's a good deal. Ten dollars like, a month? Yeah. You get to see a free movie. Every a day. a movie. I was like. Wow, that's at select theaters. Yeah, no, at AMC theaters. They're oh. they're gonna start. We have Regal, Regal. No, but Regal isn't AMC though. Well, no, it, Regal isn't. But they're but Regal is. But it's, it's become a big deal because other theaters are threatened by this. They're like, well, if you do it, then we have to, because people are gonna go to you guys and like they're like, we don't want to do that, and all the theaters so, are losing their shit about this. So if I pay ten dollars a month, I can go see a movie every day once for a day. free. Once, once a day, once a day, once a day. Yeah, one that, movie that is tight. But you gotta I, probably pay for the other movies. No, but here's the thing, more. dude. They yeah, if you wanted to see more. Here's the thing. If you do that, you're gonna have so many people doing that, it's gonna make up for all your ticket sales. Well, it's just like $10 a month. Like, like if you take up all the ticket sales you could buy in a month, like, you'd actually really be paying like $40 a month. If you take all the tickets, you know, into account. No, here's the thing. But if you do it, $10? You have to think about it. That's that's slightly more than that, man. Because the movie's free. Well, not the concessions. Yeah, you still gotta pay for the food that's and stuff. That's true. But the movie itself and plus, is free, and it's, it. and it's, it's you know. Think about it. If you have te- a movie theater like ours, probably has like ten thousand people. Basically, if you live by it. yourself and you're like a and you like don't have another person, <coughs> dude, you're set, dude. Like, you're Just set. Think about it. Like, they probably have ten thousand people go through our local theater, like ten thousand probably, and we see this. Ten people, ten dollars a month. If everyone did that, that's, that's a hundred thousand well, dollars in profit. Well, well, guys, for those of you who don't know, we live in Virginia, and the main movie theater company in Virginia is called Regal, Regal. Yeah, and, Regal. and um, they might, they, they might have to do this. They, I can all see the, the they're really good about that stuff. Because 
a lot of the theaters, a lot of people are complaining about the theater. Like, right now, uh, movie theaters are in, you might not notice, but. They're threatened. They're threatened, but not just, not just this, but apparently a lot of people are like, why do I want to go to the movies if, like, you guys aren't in- enforcing your own rules with people making noises and doing certain things? And they're just like, the experience is just not as fun That's anymore. True. I go in there, the ushers don't give a shit. They don't care. And like they're like, well, what's the point of doing this when I can just wait at home? Not only that, or if you're not only that, if you're like Seth. <laughs> now, do you want me to tell you the craziest thing I've heard to this year? Is what that movie theater is? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Who needs this? to go to the movie theater? <laughs> I, I got mad one time. No, I'm but do you want me to tell you the craziest thing I've heard about movie theaters? Apparently, they might start a thing where... When you go to a like thirty days after a movie comes out, you can pay like you can pay like twenty dollars and you twenty five dollars um, on a on a site. Don't you tell me. And you get to see the movie. No way. So they're trying to cut out piracy. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. Damn. They're okay. trying to do that's that to cut out to... piracy. But uh, once again, a lot of movie theaters, no, a lot of creators are getting pissed, and they're like, "My movie wasn't meant to be go straight to DVD." Uh, that's not what it is, man. Like, like oh, a bro, lot of kids just like. Bro, you know what? You're actually making more money doing that, though. Apparently, they don't feel that way. <laughs> like, it's here's the thing. Like, I get what they're thinking. Bunch they're like, hey, it's not meant to go. Th- it's not meant to go that early. But yeah, think Prima about it. Donuts. This is my art. Because you because st- you're still making the ticket. Yeah, every single director. Because think about it. The top <laughs> you shit. have to see yeah. the movie first, so you're yeah. still getting those ticket sales in, and you're getting twenty five dollars. That's extra. what I said. I was like, dude, movie thing. Like, I'm just gonna tell you right now. You heard it on our podcast. In another five to six years, theaters is gonna be. Totally different. different. Like the way we enter, the way we go see movies, the way things are, we're gonna be in a we're gonna be at a time where we're barely paying for paying money up front. We're just giving them a card, right? And checking it and going to see that movie. It makes it easier. And just going on about Cheaper our day. Too, think about we're it. gonna have a time where it's, that's a hundred dollars a year for free movies. It's also it's also less manpower though. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a time where like well, the, you need people to operate everything. Well, yeah, clean no. up and whatnot. Still no, 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 no. The only the only thing really no jobs actually jobs wouldn't be affected by this. Like, jobs would not be affected by you would, this at all. You would still have ticket takers to scan your card or something oh, like yeah, that? Oh, yeah, you would. No, no, that's the thing. Like I said, jobs wouldn't be affected by this. Like, because, like, the only true job I can see being affected by this is the online sales department. That's really about it. Yeah. That's the only job I can see might get hurt by this, if that. How so? What? How so, exactly? Well, because if you're, because, uh, well, because, like, everyone's paying monthly for these tickets and so no one's buying them online anymore. Oh, that's mm-hmm. true. Well? The only thing they're doing is paying for the service. I mean, you don't really need a person for that. You can get a bot to do that. What if someone, but there's the thing, it's like, yeah, everyone's gonna like the idea of this. Where a lot of people are gonna have it, but I will say you're gonna have those occasional like old couples. All right, let's go see a Plus, movie. I highly doubt. Well, they're still gonna have like you know. Oh, you want to pay cash to see it? I think they're gonna. Yeah, opinion, that's still I, gonna be. They're there. probably gonna raise it anyway. It's probably not gonna end up being ten dollars. Like this is like their what they're kind of saying they got it. They might do, but by the time it ends up, they end up doing it. It's probably gonna be like fifteen dollars. Still, but it's still gonna be. You, you know, get your cheap. money's worth. You get your money. A movie a day. You know what I mean? A movie a day. The only the only the only flaw I see with that is though, like. You know, unless you're like us, you try to review good movies. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, not, sometimes movies slow down. Some months there's just really no movies coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sure, not really. So much you're paying right money now. for nothing almost. That's but the that, problem. Like, That's the only flaw I see with this. How often do you go to the movies? How often do you go to things, the movies? How often do you go to the movies? But at the same time, if you if you have a good job and whatnot, do you want to worry about it? You don't even have really. to worry about it, dude. You're just like we could just go. I don't got to worry about you know paying it or anything or yeah. who have the money. You could just go. So yeah, in a few years, everyone will have more money that way. Yeah, movie theaters are gonna be crazy in a few like, years. Like I think so. they're they're I think they're always gonna be a thing. I just think they're gonna be very different. Ah, I'm stabbing me. Sorry, I had to kill Seth. <laughs> well, he, he's slumped now. <laughs> By the way, a little off topic, but another topic for us: the big fight tonight. Oh, the oh, Conor McGregor. God. I guess we kind of, since that is a really big deal. And, um, Who's right your now. money on? What's well, Floyd. 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 McGregor. They're, they're both out. No. Oh. No. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I think Mayweather's going to lose. I, he's got a good chance at winning, but I'm rooting for McGregor. Why? Because I just, everything, because McGregor. Dude, dude fuck it. I know May, Mayweather is a hell of a boxer. 49 and 0. Don't get me wrong. I get it. But McGregor... Well, he, one of those wins were kind of bullshit because he sucked. He sucker punched a dude. But think about it. He's been, How long has it been since he's been in the ring? Two years. Two, Two years. years. Here's my here's my big thing with that. It's just that McGregor, although he's not a boxer, he's get, so what he does is... He does he does what Bruce Lee did. He takes from everybody else's style and adds it to his own. That's problem what I really is, like about him. You can't touch Yeah, he Floyd. can't do the things he could usually do. Like, now, if this is a UFC fight... Yeah, oh, he'd he kill him. He'd beat the living crap. Out of, he'd like, kill Floyd. He'd be a bloodbath, but it's not that. It's, it's a boxing. It, it's though. legit boxing. I think the biggest thing here is if Connor can actually get him when he hits him. Oh, you can, but 
He's like, when, you, thing th- about when, Floyd you, is, when you throw a punch, that's your chance to get Mayweather. One thing about Floyd, though, is he's not as hard he's, to put down as you think. He actually yeah. does have a chin. By and, and layman's term, <laughs> that, that means under, he can take uh, it on the chin and keep going. He's got a he's got a yeah, strong he's got jaw. Some, yeah, I mean, you can't knock shockingly because he's he's been hit before hard, and you know he just he, you know he can't read sentences. Who on Floyd? Yeah, hey, dude, they tried. He he couldn't read a, st- a sentence. I don't need. I don't, dude. All he needs to read is millions. I know, right? <laughs> That's all I, I need to read. I don't have to read. I, to what me, am I read for? To I me, got if, more money than you in a lifetime. You, <laughs> like, to me, if you can't read a sentence, you shouldn't be fighting. Well, he's 49 and 0, so it probably <laughs> works out pretty well. well. I, I, I don't out see how, because he rarely gets hit in the head. That's why That's like, why, That's why. why his original nickname wasn't Money, it was Pretty Boy. Because he never got hit in the face. <laughs> Somehow he took brain damage. Well, if like Money may Oh, no, he's probably the healthiest boxer of all time. I don't see how, though. He barely gets hit in the head. He never he he really gets hit. Damage. I don't know how. I just, I, I mean, just, they legit just try to That's get him to read something. Well, he had do fucking it. brain damage yeah, on his ass because he was a slugger. Yeah, because he was a slugger. Yeah, slugger. Like Tyson. Like like Tyson. So was Tyson. Tyson yeah. got yeah. fucked up, too. That's why, um, Here's call like, out to the, um, no call out to Death Battle, um, this week. They did the, um... The dude from um, Balrog, Balrog TJ, Combo. TJ Combo. That was a good fight. I that liked was it. a great fight. It, like it kind of you know, threw me off though because I was like, man, Balrog can punch so hard, but though, but TJ can do it. Actually, yeah, technically, he proven he can do it harder. Yeah, he can do so it. So I was like, oh, saying, dude, oh. Like, I had a feeling. I was like, dude, TJ, TJ, just on that next level. Ultra Combo. He uppercutted his head off. I knew he was gonna do that too. <laughs> I knew he was gonna take his head off. Wild dude. Buffalo, the crazy Buffalo. Wild Buffalo. But, ah, the crazy Buffalo. Dude, that's t- what they called t- uh, Balrog. Mike Tyson. Oh my god. He was a slugger too. Bro, Mike. He was I mean, he was so hard to even like that. No, Mike was well, back listen, in the day. He was. He got, see, he, well, that's he why I got the name Iron Mike Tyson because you couldn't hurt him. That's the thing. That's the, he was just so hard to hurt. Know. Like it's like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it was like there was no way to hurt him. That was why he was so. It's like it's like formidable. the cooler movie where he punches Goku well, in the ass. Until he got, older, got older, then well, he got knocked out and he just lost it. Well, you yeah. know, they say a lot of times when a fighter gets knocked out, that's um, that's kind of it. For yeah, you, you're some people can't psychologically deal with getting knocked unconscious. Well, that's why I bit both. Man. That's why he bit both of uh, his ears. Yeah, that's why he bit um Holyfield because Holyfield screwing him up. He didn't bite his ear off. Like people said, he just nah, bit he both like, of them. Nah, he, he bit. He bit he a bit of chunk. Oh, he bit a chunk. I didn't see. I looked at the video. I didn't see. No, he bit his lobe off. He bit his whole lobe off. Ah. But like, here's the thing. You know, he lost. He, was the, he, he made lose. himself lose that fight. He never boxed because he, he knew he was gonna get knocked out. And it, and the big thing is, else is like, if you look at Tyson before before the fight with Douglas, that's his first loss. He everybody was almost a knockout. Yeah, almost. Oh, yeah, because he was strong as he, fuck. He had, his he, nickname was the baddest man on the planet. Yeah. That was his nickname. He had forty four knockouts. Yeah, it was the strongest punch. The strongest punch was that one dude uh, years ago. Yeah, he the, that was that guy. Had fourteen hundred pounds for square inch. Fourteen hundred pounds. Yeah, it was nuts. But I can't, ca- I can't remember his name. But but how, much take, how much did it take to split a tree? Well, back to the Floyd thing. That might be enough. <laughs> this no, is really a, a battle nope. of two assholes. Both of them are dicks. Both of them are at douchebags. And in my honest opinion, I wish they both could knock each other out and call it in the middle of the ring. I know, right? That'd be what America deserves. Like, but do you like like do you think this is gonna be to one sided or do you think it's gonna be a fight? Let me put it's gonna be one sided. Let me put it to you this way: in Vegas right now, if you put a hundred dollars on Floyd, you'd probably get like and he and he won, you get like maybe three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars back. You're not like you're not like you put a hundred, though. huh? B- betting's banned in Las Vegas. Shit, tell that to them. Anyway, <laughs> if you put like a hundred dollars on fucking McGregor. You get like fucking two grand back if he won. That's how bad it is. That's how lopsided it is, really, dude. Like, I mean, I don't know. You, like, I've seen a lot of people putting their money on McGregor. I think a lot of people just want him to win because they don't like DJ. I, it's, not, it's not that I don't like yeah, Floyd. Floyd. I'm just kind of rooting for the guy. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Floyd's if McGregor shit. knocked him out, I'd be like, okay. Be like, wow. All right. I'm not crying. <laughs> but to the, be honest, the, the hype is real. To be honest, there is a, I'd say 85, 88, I mean, 80 percent chance that he might not even touch him. Yeah, because the hay might be swinging quick. in the air. You're saying, yeah, you don't think, you don't think Floyd's quick? You don't think Floyd's gotten slow? I mean, no, well, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we'll see, but I mean. Mike Tyson said Mayweather would destroy Mc, McGregor. Well, you know what? Being, well, one, Tyson has brain damage, and two, he was one of the greatest Well, Mayweather time. will destroy McGregor. Well, he always had a lisp, too, by the way. Next thing did he really? Next he always had that lisp. Next thing he did, brace for the door. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> You say, Here's my thing like, on it. Oh, why'd you say no, Lottie? And then you just say, oh, hey, yo, yo, man, Here's I'm the thing. This, is, this is like, when it comes to pure technicality, it, like I said, this is a boxing match. When it comes to pure technical strength, dude, Floyd has got it down to a science. True. He knows, that's the thing. Floyd never, he's only had two knockouts his entire career. Out of 49 fights, he's only had two knockouts wins. He wins by points. 
Yeah, he gets points. He avoids punches. He hits you in the right way. He get, that's how he beats you. Is he gets points. He doesn't knock you out. Trip, he, he doesn't have to. You're not gonna get him. You're not gonna get him. You know what? get also. They also get points by dodging. So he's really quick. He knows how to dodge you. So yeah, he gets you get that points way. for dodging and for dodging and slow, for hitting though. a certain spot. It's like he knows he's also how to smart. get points. God, See, McGregor's gonna try so and knock his ass bad. out. McGregor's gonna try and knock him out. He's no. not gonna. McGregor's smart, dude. He'll he'll figure out a way. No, he oh, no man. no. I don't care how smart he is. might he's figure gonna... out a way in a UFC fight, but dude, a boxing fight, man. No. That's true. That's the thing. That's the you're thing I'm talk, you're about. walking into the lair of a dragon, dude. That's <laughs> what I'm worried about right there is because I know that it's boxing. That's what that's what I want to root for him, but I'm scared. Like I said, no, in pure. No, like I said, for as smart as McGregor might be. Like I said, when it comes to pure boxing technicality, dude, Floyd's got it down to a fucking degree. He could have a doctorate he, in boxing. He could have say, a doctorate he, he in could, boxing. He could actually have a degree in this. He could <laughs> have a degree yeah. in this. You know who's an underrated boxer? No. Butter, butter bean. Oh, that, that fucker you keep talking about. All right. Let's, <laughs> well, let's get off this fight. Let's, 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 about him. Let's, leave, about? let's leave Floyd and stuff. Let's oh, leave Floyd mm-hmm. alone. You know, let him, uh, let's leave him let him uh, sulk over this. Let's get... If he does, well, like I said, I'm not going to cry. All right. DC. Oh boy. Well, they're back. Oh wait, is this something you told us earlier? Did we? Did I tell you about the solo bat? The. If uh, that's not a real gun, disclaimer. Yeah, the popsy. <laughs> the solo Joker movie. <sighs> that's gonna take place in the eighties, <laughs> and it has nothing to do with the DC. It has nothing to do with the DCEU, by the way. It's outside of the DCU. It's a solo, and it's gonna be a different Joker. Not going to be Jared Leto? Nope, nope, not going to be Jared Leto. Why the hell would you... And they're going to have that come out near the same time they're doing a Harley Quinn in the jo- versus the Joker with- and the Joker movie. Hold up. With Jared Leto. Hold up. <laughs> you're doing a... You're do- you, okay. see, you see why I'm done with DC entirely? And they still you see why now? this the- Harley Quinn movie with her being in it as... In, like, no, because here's the... Why would you... Have two Jokers at the same time? What? <laughs> they, have two, they have two Flash at the same time. That makes no sense. They have two flashes at the same time, dude. That's okay. What Think I about said. this. Okay, you have Jared have, Leto. You have a Joker on your payroll, and you're gonna add another one. Because people don't like that Joker. Yeah, people don't like Jared Leto. Don't say that though, because people come at you on that. Um, so I don't care. No one so, likes Jared Leto. So no, I I know people who like Jared Leto. But like, here's the thing. Fuck you. Here's the thing. That that literally just t- that literally just tells me that they'd rather not give Jared a chance in his own movie. It gives him more chance to act. Maybe be, be, maybe be better. But they want to add another guy who they think maybe they'll like this to one. Be ba- to be fair, they do have producing this, um, damn it, Scorsese's, um, Marcus Scor- um, Scorsese, the guy who helped Leo become who he is. He made, he's the guy who made Taxi Driver, The Departed, and some of these great movies. But he's just producing it. But it's kind of weird who they got working on this movie. And like, and like, that is, it is getting strange. And personally, when you hear about the Holly Quinn because like the way they describe the um Harley Quinn. By the way, the by the actor. way, it's Harley Quinn and Joker, not Joker and Harley Quinn. Which I'm like, what the fuck did Harley Quinn get top bill over the Joker? Yeah. randomly. But okay, who, who is it? Is this the same Harley Quinn? Yeah, yeah the same Harley Quinn. Robbie. Wow. But it's gonna be like, it's supposed to be a love story. It's supposed to be a love story, and I'm like, they're not supposed to be that to begin with. They're not in love. They're an abusive relationship, is what they are. Dude, that's a lot. That shit. really pisses me off about that suicide side the most. It's the thing. Some people love their relationship, but that's not their relationship though. It's supposed to be this toxic thing that they hate each other and Joker, well, not, doesn't, Joker give doesn't give a shit about her. She's in madly in love. It's only a one sided thing. But the movie makes it this freaking she loves she, sick she, puppy like, thing. Harley Quinn doesn't love Joker. She loves being abused. Well, she loves an alpha. That's the thing. She follows the big, the, the, the whoever is the Love's most powerful partner. man in the room. That's kind of who she's kind of attracted to. Oh, she fucked Deadshot. <laughs> oh yeah, and that um, and that the, one movie, the, the good arc of the good Suicide Squad, the good Suicide, Suicide Squad, Squad movie. <laughs> that King Shark, freaking Killer Frost. Um, mm-hmm. who else? And they're still talking Killer about Killer Frost. By the, and they're still talking yeah, about making that Cyborg life. movie. By the way, it's like I canceled. I know, but they're still talking about it. They're talking about making that. Dude, DC is just throwing I, mud I, I at a see, wall. They're throwing this, mud at a wall. I can see the salt coming out of Seth's beard. And and now I, now we're talking about Justice League and how, snail. and how Justice Soft League has, snail. has been through shit ton of recuts and redone. Yeah. And like Josh Whedon, the guy who made the Avengers, is going back in and kind of redoing it to make... God he said, of the he said um, He's going back in to make it make sense. So which No, not me, Josh Whedon, Josh Swinger, remember? <laughs> we'll get into that on his wife and five women. Freaking fuck five women. Maybe. Oh. Rumored. Oh, yeah. Rumored. rumored. But he yeah. definitely cheated on her. But that's a rumor. Yeah. I'm not going to call her because there has been five, but that's a rumor. But yeah, he definitely cheated on her. So fucking... basically, by the way, Justin Luke is not looking good. The, oh, they, that, they and brought... the other producer lost his daughter. 
Bro. Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder, Snyder lost his daughter kid. as he was making this movie. Which was sad. So he's all screwed up. Sad. So we have no clue how this movie was. And then Josh Whedon comes in to help do it. And he's dealing with a divorce right now because he cheated on his wife. That's his fault. It's like, dude, this Justice League movie, man, what is it going to look like? That's there has been reports that the original cut was unwatchable. They used Jesus. bad words. And he had to go back in and kind of make it bearable. Jesus Christ, it was unwatchable. And like, everyone else is kind of rooting this off as, oh, bullshit, you know what you're talking about. Uh, whoever said that, just the same thing about they, Wonder Woman. They, like, they, they only review movies for a living. It's like, dude, what, who are you? You just sit in your house. These guys are actually professionals who walk around this stuff. Maybe they might be wrong some of the time, but a lot of great majority of the time, they're right. And I'm thinking to myself, let me get this straight. One director was on an emotional stress. The other one is under Going through emo- well, emotional <laughs> stress. <laughs> that he didn't do something himself. That he was so well, like I said. Because his wife kind of like was on his neck about, yeah, you're fake, you know, you talk about this shit. And, and it, it is nuts right now right, with DC. And then you got James Cameron, which is something I was talking about with Seth. Oh, boy. Who came out and said that, basically, in a nutshell, I don't see the hubba about Wonder Woman. Oh, like, I God. don't get it. She's this. All we think she is is really a pretty face. All She's of a beautiful. Sudden, She's not all this All of a sudden, thing. you guys love James no, Cameron. No, see, basically, again. well, he did this, where it was like, he... He, dr- he tried to see, like, he basically, in a nutshell, he said, I don't understand why people are going to want to be like Wonder Woman. Because she's so perfect. Yeah, she's, she's, this, like, she's, she's that. Perfect, she's the perfect she's specimen she's of untou- a being. She's untouchable, but, but then But then he brought up his own characters, like, but, um, uh, um, like Ripley um, and Sarah Connor. And Sarah Connor. And I'm and like, like Sarah Connor. and he's like, these these women are, you know, real. You know, they have problems. They but they overcome them, you know. He's going on this yeah, thing about I mean, his, his, Ripley his, turns into a badass who lost her kid. She turned into a badass, adopting another kid. Like, this... Ripley's Sa- a Sarah th- Connor too. Yeah, well, Sarah Connor too. I mean, she's a I mean, she's a struggling mom who's just trying to like Save survive this yeah. shit with her son. It's like these are women you should because her son leads the resistance. Well, yeah, well, I'm saying, but like, point being is that like is that like you these are women you should look up to. Yeah, girls should look up to, or girls like Captain Marvel. Yeah, the strong, independent woman, but she she works hard. You don't need no man. Well, she well she works hard. She I mean she works hard. Mm-hmm. She's I mean she's a career woman. Like she's more she's not but she's not perfect. No, oh, no me. she's got emotional person. hormonal problems. She's got emotional hormone problems. Like, well, that's what they said in Death Battle, anyway. That's what, <laughs> I'm just going off what they said. So, and they're usually right. So I was just like, that was Captain Marvel. Yeah, Captain Marvel. Yeah, she's she's got like mental I expected disorders. Her to lose, honestly, I she's got hormonal disorders. It was just like it's Android eighteen. Point being is that um, point being is that James Cameron said I, she's not relatable. I don't understand why you're saying she's and this then, relatable character. And then Patty Jenkins kind of responded back with this huge diatribe about she don't know what you're talking about. Did yeah, that whole shit. She's kind of unattached. Did he, did he ever leave? He's like, why does women have to struggle to be impactful? I mean, they can be perfect. They li- can have perfect feet. No, they, that's, not re- that's not realistic. And then they go through this thing, and I'm just like, dude, and everybody, I'm talking every big YouTuber I know who, who reviews like news things, Killed him. Yeah, they were like, "Shut the hell up! You don't know what you're talking about." Can yeah, this is a guy who tits? made one of the two yeah, of the greatest, three of the greatest movies of all time. And then time. people were like, "Go make your Avatar and, movie." And and like, like, <laughs> he only made the most, the top selling movie of all time. Yeah, he made like, wow. he made a shit ton of uh, really top sellers of movies. But hey, you know, I don't know what he's and talking about. And, 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 and he is the like, and he is the director that holds the top selling movie of all time. And I'm just thinking to myself. Well, he is. The, well, in that he was the one that gave Sigourney Weaver her, you know, her title of God and made sci-fi. Term- and yeah. made Terminator. And Terminator. Yeah, Terminator. Gave Arnold his big Sarah shit. Connor. I mean, as Gary said, James Cameron did done Predator too. Um, no, no, no. no. That's Ridley Scott. I think Ridley Scott. Yeah. But yeah, man, it's kind of nuts to me that like people just turned That's why on people him thought so Predator was in the other universe. Was made by like, what, what made me laugh It's funny though because like, um, everyone's big fans until they hear that. It's funny because yeah, pretty much everyone just turned just turned on James Cameron just yesterday, like the other day, or maybe not yesterday. The other yeah, day. it literally took a day for everyone just to turn on. It's him. funny. I turned on him. I turned on him a week ago when Josh Brolin, aka the guy who was playing Deadpool Thanos. and Thanos, De- no, he's playing um Cable. And, and Thanos. And Thanos. So he's doing pretty good for himself. He's, he's been all over the place. If you've seen him in No Country for Old Men, he's great. Great movie. Great, great actor. Great actor. James Cameron wanted him to be an Avatar. He refused. He said, I don't want to be an Avatar. And James Cameron lost his shit. And said, really? Do you know who? Yeah. He's, he's like, do you know who I am? I'm James Cameron. He's like, like, I don't want to be in your movie. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> and I turned on him that day. I was like, jeez, man, what a self-righteous prick. You just tell said, him he's going to be in his movie. Oh, and then he pulls James, this shit. Chill, and then he pulls this. It's like, oh, dude, now I feel. Well, it's like, yo, James, 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 calm down. Dude. I thought that was so funny Sorry, when James. Josh Brolin was just like, um, go to hell. <laughs> I'm pretty good right now. <laughs> I'm okay. Well, then James Cameron talking about Wonder Woman. So he's I can't Cable. Be... Yeah, he's Cable too. So like, and then he started talking about Wonder Woman. And I was like, holy 
shit, finally somebody came out and talked about Wonder Woman. Some big person came out and talked about Wonder Woman. Oh, but we got to get to that other guy who talked shit. The guy who made Valerian. Oh, boy. Who came out and started talking crap about Captain America and him being this um, patriot. No, not a patriot symbol. This um, a symbol of nationalism. Nationalism and and this, like. Nationalism. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's like, what? Dare call our character Captain America? What kind of? I mean, he only came out in the 1940s. Well, I'm 40s. sorry. He's like, my movies have this. My movie has that. My movie has characters you can relate Guess to. Guess what, pal? This, that. I was like, dude. Let me. I'm let sure me if answer. It, if it was Captain Antifa, I'm sure it'd be heavy. <laughs> yeah. Well. By the way, just in case someone ever gets this back to him, he does realize Marvel also has a Captain Britain, who's Canada. actually more powerful than Captain America. And Captain Canada. They have a Captain Canada. There's a Captain. I think there's a Captain South America. There's, they have Captain. Who were inspired by Captain America all over the place? So do your research, bitch. It's like so he has no clue. And what that he's talking like Captain about. America was made during World War Fucking Two, when we were at war with Germany, like and Japan. It's like, come on, this is the point. He's Captain America. He's supposed to. This he sells dude, war bonds. This dude was literally Basically. ass hurt because his movie was, was boring as shit. Yeah, it it bombed. bombed. Guess so what, pal? It, it was out. boring as fuck. So now he's taking it out on the comic book genre, just talking all this shit. I'm just like, really? Yeah. It's, <laughs> Yeah, it's the Dark Tower. Oh my god! You know, I bet I'm sad because that movie looked really good. What the Dark Tower? Yeah. Dude, I grew up. Dude, I read all the books. I loved all the characters. That's true. He's, that's more of a fan than I am, though. Dude, you don't know how much it hurt me. Like, you know how much it hurt. Was it like a pinch or a stab? That was a. It was a kick in the nuts. I was gonna say it's more of a bullet to the balls. <laughs> it's a. It's a kick <laughs> in the nuts. Someone no. Someone took a sledgehammer and went whoop. <laughs> oh, sledgehammer to the balls. Yeah, sledgehammer to the ball. Literally, you know, they were tripping into that one guy with the oh, wrench. Oh, boom! <laughs> right in the ball. Ooh. Well, funny enough, actually found out you can hit him in the knees. You don't have to hit him in the balls, but sometimes you nail just <laughs> right. You hit him right here. It's like, oh! <laughs> knee, knee him in the kneecap. <laughs> Ooh, bronze kneecap. <laughs> anyway, but it was just like... Now I'm using it. No, but Valerian was so... See, Valer- the book Valerian was so creative because it was this... It was like someone took sci-fi and made it... It's like they combined high fantasy, like fucking yeah. elves and trolls and shit, dragons, and they made sci-fi out of it. That's literally what Valerian the book was. Well, apparently, that, it now apparently that, that's what his movie is. <laughs> that's what his movie was, so If you don't understand it, it's a work of art. You're too busy watching this superhero. The book was a work of art, You're not watching, the movie. You're too busy watching these superhero bullshit to understand uh, the art. That's been, he literally that's came off said. like some dude who's just like, some condescending asshole. Oh yeah, you tell us. I remember, I, forgot, I remember now. You did tell us about this. I said he just sounds like he's butter as hell. Yeah, it sounds because well, his movie lost like what? How much money? Five close to three hundred million. Well, I'm yeah. sorry if your movie sucks. Close to three hundred million. The movie cost six hundred million to make. No, lost, no, no, no. I think it cost like four hundred million to make, and he got like, and he made like seventy million. Well, I'm sorry, your <laughs> movie sucked. Not my fault. Your movie bomb, dude. You don't get the get movie was boring as fuck, dude. So, hey, should have made a more entertaining movie. I mean, opinions are opinions, but I mean, if the majority said your movie sucks, then I'm sorry. It's like, I think your movie might suck. <laughs> did, so did you see the score on Rotten Tomatoes? Oh, Jesus. What yeah. is it on Rotten Tomatoes? I don't know. I know yeah, that it was, I think it was, like, last time I looked at it, it was like 50s, like, one, and then yeah, and, and it might have dropped since then. Yeah, yeah, like that's cool. Like, like I said, that movie. That was... score's pretty fair though. Fifty-one, pretty fucking average. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so no. That's the thing. It was like Ghost of the Shell. It was boring. Some of the shit in there was just so boring. I was like, how did you make this book, Valerian City of a Thousand Planets, this most beautifully artistic, high fantasy but yet super sci-fi world, and turn it into the most snooze fast movie I've ever fucking seen? What do you mean? Then get angry and bitch and moan about people? Yeah, and then you're gonna like... bitch and moan about other people's success. He's fucking jealous, dude. He, this comes up. This is some jealous well, prick. I'm who's... sorry, everyone likes superheroes. Dude, he's just a jealous asshole, man. He's just jealous about everyone making his own shit. He's, he loves the smell of his own gar- parts. He's like, he's that I, guy. I guarantee guy. you, he's got like a watch. Go home. His DVD collection's got like twenty superhero movies in it. Probably not. Probably anyway, not. all right. What's oh next bit of news? Let's jump through with this one. Apparently, nobody necessarily likes Hellboy and Justice. Oh yeah, really? the, the the new pack for um, I thought people the new, would love new pack is Raiden. Black Manta and, and Hellboy. Hellboy. I was, that that shit so caught me up happy. I remember looking at it. I was like, because you like two. You I love Hellboy. He's my favorite comic You character. love two characters. You love him and you love Raiden. Yeah, you, yeah. you love I love. Yeah, that's two and one. Oh, I oh. can't. Well, Black Manta was kind of cool because the, of the, the, oh, wow, finally. A little Black bit Manta. of a side note to show they put they put Metal Gear Rising Vengeance with Raiden on backwards compatibility. Oh, cool. cool. I will be buying that. Cool. So, anyway, well, quick bit of news, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it's just like, Hellboy to me, he's my favorite comic character. He's awesome. He's like. He's just a badass, and I love him to death. Everyone and was bitching. Everyone was bitching and moaning about it. I was so excited. I was like, I'm looking at the comic section. See how many people are excited, too. 
All I almost, almost every comment was, why do we get this bullshit, man? Nobody asked for no Hellboy and Raiden. We and should you get know, more DC characters. Now, see, if they bitched about Raiden, I would have been like, okay, fine, I get That's it. That's what I said. I said, okay, Raiden. If they just bitched about right. Raiden, I would have been like, okay, you know what? You already got one um, Mortal Kombat character. I get it. Because, well, I mean, I mean like, NetherRealms has the DC license. They can use yeah. the characters if they want to. But I didn't know they had. I guess maybe they must have cut a deal with Dark Horse to get oh, their yeah. hands on uh, to get their hands on Hellboy. Mm-hmm. Well, remember like Mortal Kombat did the same thing when they had Jason and the Alien and the Kratos. Predator and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh shit! It's Kratos. <laughs> yeah, Kratos. Cool. So like yeah. So obviously they did the same Racist thing. Racist Mario. Forty <laughs> forty billion. Go views. back to your own console. <laughs> Racist Mario. Mario. <laughs> But yeah, you remember how like super, he was so they, fucking big. They he made like, him comedically muscular. They were like their rivals, Mario and Kratos. He had a black eye. He's just like he takes everything too seriously. Like, like when he goes to the mystery thing, he turns into an Uzi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but point being is that like everyone, I don't, you know what, man? Like I'm so mad. I was just like, you guys are bitching about Hellboy. Like seriously, like you guys aren't curious about how he fights, how he does things. No, I was like, like, "Fuck it, no, fuck it." It's just like, "Fuck it." We want all nothing but DC characters. Yeah, we're like, like, I, I came I here for my DC, DC characters. No, oh, these, no, what? It's Dark Horse. No, you know what? You know these are fucking uh, fighter game. You know, you know, fucking glasses. You know, they're like, I came foil hats. But one dude, <laughs> well then, one dude came here. <laughs> there you go. The, the, was, that's those people. And he was those literally like, I came here to see DC characters. I only came here for the fighting game to DC, everybody. I just came here to fight. Oh my god, I don't understand it. Oh my god. There are people who are out like, like, I'm taking my game <laughs> it's back. the most nerdy. Are you serious? People are like, oh, I paid this money for this bullshit. No way. There better not be any comments. I'm, I'm sure there's probably yeah, some. Yeah, there are comments who said that. I fucking the game hate back. them. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm taking my game back. I'm taking my game back. That's ridiculous. You're taking a full. You're oh. taking a full game back because you don't like some of the DLC. Cause, cause it's of, optional cause, DLC. Cause, you don't have to of, buy it. Because of DLC characters. It's, you don't have to fucking buy it. <laughs> you, could, you, could, you could try saying, hey, I would like these characters next. Next. Well, uh, well it's just like, like I said, Raiden, I, fine. I mean, right, you already I got some zero. Like, you already got some zero, so I'm like, okay, you know what, I, fine. I would say Scorpion would be a better choice to add in. They had Scorpion in last time. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the... Original. original Injustice, they had Scorpion. I know, I was just saying, like, uh, with, with Sub-Zero, I say you should just put him in, too. Well, point being is that, like, you know, if, like I said, they bitch about Reigns, like, listen, if we don't want any more, like, you know, freaking more combat characters, we just want combo characters, right? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, cool, fine, fine, whatever. And then, but it's like, they added Hellboy. What, like, like, and then they're like, oh, fuck it. It's if, like, if I was them, I would just troll the entire fan base and put but it was like, you got, But you got... <laughs> oh, they ain't doing it. <laughs> like, you know what? In my opinion, you got the better deal. You got one um, You got one other NetherRealm character. You got yeah. another DC comic book character, Black Manta. And you got I'm, another completely I different how comic book company. I can make them. Dude, they're, they're, they're Marvel. I mean, like, didn't... Well, wait, 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 didn't MK9 have Spawn? Or, like... No, MK9 had, um... Kratos. No. Kratos. Well, did it? Well, yeah, they had Kratos. Yeah. Yeah, MK9 and Kratos. Cause oh, yeah, 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 I think it did. They did. It but, did Kratos. But I, was like, I, I thought that someone had, you know, like, picked up Spawn, and then, like, No, that's something that the fans have been wanting. They're like, I want Spawn, not no like, shitty Hellboy. I think Hellboy. they said Spawn is definitely going to be in this game. I hope he is. Spawn's awesome, too. I, love I, think, I think they've pretty much confirmed Spawn. But it's just like... Point being is that, like I said, I you bitching about Raiden, you know, that's one thing. But you're bitching about Hellboy, like, you don't even know he's going to fight. You don't know. You're I know like, one thing. I'm buying it as soon as he comes out. Yeah, he, yeah. I'm getting him immediately. I got, I got Red Hood when he came out. Starfire and, um, whatever. Shit and, and, um, Sub-Zero. I mean, I like Sub-Zero. He's a cool character to use, but, like, I'm like, well. Who are you maining right now? Huh? Who are you maining right now in terms of it? Um, on the game? Yeah. Um, Red Hood. Hood. Dark, Red Hood. Dark well, side. at first, at first I was using. Mega Beam. At first I was using, um, Robin, Jason, um, Jason Todd, Robin. No, not Jason Todd. I'm like shit. Damian, Na- Wayne. Damian Wayne, Robin, because like he's he's oh, fast. There's, there's a skin for that, huh? There's a skin for Damian. No, it's a character. No, he's actually Kate Robin they, in this. Oh, okay. Nightwing's dead in this. They they, they added uh, Universe. they added they added Batman's son. Yeah, man, he's the ba- he's the Robin in this world. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because in the original that Justice... explains the sword. Yeah, and he's... well, yeah, because in the original Injustice. So you saw a sword, you should have uh, Superman killed him. Well, no, Superman who killed, killed him? Who, um Robin. He killed one of the Robins. No, he didn't kill Nightwing. Um. Um, his son, um, Damien, accidentally killed oh, him. Oh, Damien killed him. It was him. an accident? It was an accident. Like, I think he was trying to stab something. He was trying to do something. He was trying to kill a, a, someone who he thought should die, and Nightwing got in the way. Stab. <laughs> and that kind of brought him back to his senses? No, he no, went even he still more like... rogue. He, went, he ran off with Superman. Yeah, he went off with Superman. Tyrant Superman. <laughs> yeah, Tyrant Superman. He's like, and then he's all on his kick up. 
Superman's a better father than me you've ever been to me and all this other crap. Uh, you know, because I only ever tried to help you in your life. Uh, he doesn't hear that. He's still just trying to punch, punch, kick. But do you, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I use a lot of those two. I used to use Blue Beetle because remember when I first bought the game? Blue Beetle girl, looked awesome. The girl in the store was like, Blue Beetle is basically the scorpion of this game. A, a, AKA, he's the easiest character to use because his combos are the easiest to remember. But, but he, his, his costume was great in that game. And, um, but, like, yeah, but, like, I'm gonna get Hellboy as soon as he comes out. I'll, I'll, I can't wait to get the, where you can get the, um, thing to have his horns. Yeah, the um, horns of the crown of yeah, fire. you're it's probably like, gonna get to be able to do Batman. The Samaritan? So, yeah. Boom. I, you, I, want to, I, I can't wait till gameplay comes out to see what his um, move is, his special yeah. move is, man. I'll use that stone fist to just club people. Bing, bing, bing. I still say the Flash, that's the funniest one. What? Smacks you against the damn T-Rex. Yeah. T- well, well, <laughs> it just runs around with you through time. Yeah. <laughs> are you, I mean, are you, will anybody be purchasing Dragon Ball Fighters? Dragon Ball Fighters probably not. No, really? No one? No, probably not. I think it's just me then. Yep. Well, I mean, I don't think we had anything else today, do we? Uh. I mean, other than Michael's shit transactions on um. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Shadow yeah. of War, the Shadow micro, War. the whole microtransaction controversy on the Shadow of War. Because it's one of those things. Microtransactions is actually starting to kind of die down a bit because people have been bitching and moaning about it for yeah. years. Mm-hmm. So finally, companies like, fine, we get it. We you don't want, you don't want to see them. But every now and again, you get that one company that's like, oh, we're going to try and see if they work, and well, they get shit on. Try, you know, and that's control. what we get. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what, though? It was so funny. Like, I remember this, uh, this this YouTuber I watched. His name is Jim Sterling. But he, um, he's actually really funny when he does some shit. Like, he destroyed Infinite Warfare, the whole fucking... Yeah, oh. He, you know, the whole, like, you had to buy Modern Warfare along with it. He because everyone knew that was He hated it. Dude, they rob people, they're ro- he was like He literally said, you are... Li- no, he said, you are... Like, this should be a crime. Holding it hostage. Well, like, yeah, yeah, holding it hostage. Like, he literally said, this should be a crime. Like, this is... Like, it something, should be, honestly. That this is something completely, like, completely stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, that's literally what he I mean, said. Yeah, you, don't, you can't just hold a game. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, and he's just like, man, with all the microtransactions, all the different skins, and fucking crafting, because this, this is Minecraft all of a sudden. <laughs> it was like, it was so bad. I mean, no, he no, he didn't like that. He was like, microtransactions, they're still a thing? I'm tired to bitch about it. <laughs> hey, I don't blame you. And I was surprised about Shadow because we watched that gameplay that, but that you might but, see. But they didn't show any You might see us um, talk, reacting to that um, later um, sometime with the Mark gameplay. Up. But we watched... Um, well, I was going to upload four videos, but, but we couldn't get into the account. Sure. Oh, well, right. now you can. But, Here yeah. Here That will go, oh, fuck, there was my payday. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah, but, like, like I said, microtransactions. But because the gameplay looked good on the game, and we were just talking about um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, which doesn't have... Uh, microtransactions, and they're actually starting to listen to the people because um yeah because the first one wasn't a flop at all yeah and we might look at some of that gameplay too and um react to that too another day yeah we um, might some of the Star Wars stuff and see if we um like it or not make up our mind about it we we're gonna start doing a lot more gameplay um stuff. We're, we're gonna try to anyway we're, we're gonna start make it doing some gameplay stuff a little bit more so I've been convincing them slowly people and we're gonna and just announce it here we're gonna start doing a new thing I, I haven't come up with a good name for it but we're gonna do this thing where we're gonna watch an anime all three of us we're gonna come together. And we're going to review At the it. end of the week. Yeah. It might be a random anime. We'll just talk about which one we're going to do this week. The first one, actually, though, we it, we have decided it is uh, Devil's a Part-Timer. Devil's a Part-Timer. If you've ever seen We're it, all going to watch it. We're all going to see and, if you like it And if you not. like it, too, you can go watch it yourself and join us next week and, you know. And we'll have a discussion. We'll have a discussion about yeah, it. Like, well, so far, the Devil's a Part-Timer is so fucking funny. <laughs> it's a funny anime. It's an anime. If you, if you want another funny one, I've got a suggestion. That would be The Seven Deadly Sins. Dude, no. I, I tried. No, no You didn't way. like that one? No. Oh, Did you at God. least see them get Bond? Dude, no. Oh, That's God. That's my favorite by the, way, uh, by the way, I'm disputing this oh, right... Uh, by the way... Captain! Uh, by the way, I'm putting this in right <laughs> now. That Seth, show. Seth, 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 I know God. you're not going to like to hear this, but when I say we're going to watch anime, an anime, you know, every once in a while a week and review it's it, pr- it might talking, be bad. <laughs> I'm talking any of them. And we're going to come to the table with that. Yeah, Even if we don't like it, we're going to come to the table with that. Oh, God, and we're going to have discussion. We're going to have discussion about this. It. You know, I kind of thought this would be a cool idea to kind of replace our game show because we're going to put that on break Yeah, we're going to put now. that on break for a while, so we're going to And you might want to go it. with the ones that are popular. Yeah, well, no. Well, we want, I wanted to go outside the box a little bit and go with the ones that, like, um, not a lot of people have maybe heard about a lot. You know, that's why I said Devil's a Part-Timer because not a lot of people really, you know, I mean, that's, that's well known. Like, it's well known, but it's not like you know Dragon Ball Z well known. Not like, true. So I just went with that, and, and it's a pretty funny one. I thought it was a pretty funny. McDonald's. One, so. <laughs> what, what's holy, it called? Holy Potter. Holy Potter. <laughs> holy Potter. <laughs> There's like a super size me. You don't have to always eat cheeseburgers. And then it was like, shut up. They're nagging me. They do talk about. He named his bike like he named a horse. It was so fucking. To give you a preview of a devil's a part timer, it's literally about this like, and it's about Satan himself. 
all-powerful demon, all demon king. all-powerful demon king losing a war in some other dimension goes to Earth to, to heal, just to heal, to heal, lick his back. wounds. Yeah, come back. Well, but, he well, accidentally goes there. He's just opening a portal and just running, basically. And, well, he gets there and he works at a McDonald's. Well, that, their version of McDonald's. A, a McRonald's? A McRonald's. They call it a McRonald's. <laughs> and it got the same color scheme and everything. And same he's color so, scheme. Same archway. so intense. He's like, I might get... That promotion! Like, like. Now he's so intense about working at a burger place. It's so funny. It's like, he's like, if we don't do this fast enough, we won't be number one in the district. We won't, we won't. And it's like, oh my god, you. Are... And then there's that, well, there's that, well, then there's that teenage chick with the giant tits who's like, apparently. Hey. But at least they bring it up. Yeah, they do make fun of that, which is like, nice. What is with your. Okay, I'm not gonna bring it up. <laughs> it's so fucking funny because like oh my god now there's another trope that super young girl with giant you know with a giant rack you know that's another trope no there's one thing that did it worse than anybody else you have not you, by I, the way you never still see still point me you never see a giant rack in Japan, unless they're fake well that's the thing it's the fantasy it's the fantasy it's, it's so it's what, fucking child po- well Ugh. no because here's it's not no. child porn it's not real <laughs> Here, let me explain this yeah, remember we talked I'm, about I'm that. gonna explain this to you why that's a thing take this into account in Japan in America what do we like we like big butts in Japan what do they like they prefer the, they prefer the breasts it's breast is the big thing in the east. It is true. Different countries are like. I always thought they're just making up for something they didn't have. No, because, it's just it's just for the it's because it's the big thing. You don't in really the east. see busty Japanese chicks like ever. Yeah, that's really. the, that's the thing. They, yeah, so they. I do understand why they like. They well, fantasize about it. This is what we wish it was, but that's what we wish it is. <laughs> and and here's the other thing with that thing. Still, basically, yeah. where that trope came from with that little girl thing. It's 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 like supposed to be well. It's viewed as cute, but it's also viewed as lollies. Cute? That's cute? Well, a four, like a 16-year-old girl with... Whoop. No, not that. That's just called sexy. But I'm talking about the tiny girls. Well, do you mean the tiny girls? Oh, like really short chicks. They, they that, really did start doing that, that Like, lot, you know, they look dude. like kids. They did. I don't know why they started no, doing the thing, that so much. Here's the thing. They look like kids because they got popular. They're little, they look like little kids, but they're, they're what they call a lolly. A lolly is supposed to be a older person... It's supposed to be an older person with a mind, with a body of like maybe a kid. It's weird. It's just, it's, it's just weird thing. Yeah, like it's it's. it's weird. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes it, don't get me wrong. I agree, but you know. You know what? At least because the problem is, I can deal with the anime if they go out of their way to explain why she looks like that. If they go out of their way to be like, oh, well, she was this and she got placed in this body and she's just like, I don't mean to be in. The, like if she was something yeah. else. Oh, by the way, and then she got put in that. By body. the way, this is just something. Like, this is the, really the, new. This one of the most like, legitimate ones I saw. This was is just one. random, but I did. You know, I really. I'm not. Remember that one guy who thought Drifters was, you know, just serviceable. Bruh. Oh yeah. Yeah, he uh, he's back. What was he talking about now? He's talking about Drifters again. He said something about I don't know why Drifters needs a second season. It was, it was mediocre. But <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I don't know what his channel like, name is. Tell me ask. where he lives. His social security. <laughs> salt, salt on the snail. I shall find him. Salt on the snail. Salt I shall him. find him and wring him from his intestines. Damn, it's pretty intense. Or you'd be like, you watch a team. You might watch more Team Four Star. Dad beat with beat him within an inch of his life. I still haven't and heard hang him up by his intestines. I haven't think. I haven't heard anything about Castlevania. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't heard anything about it. Have you seen that, Mark? Castlevania? Hell no. Four episodes. Four episodes. Everyone I heard of that shit, I'm like, hey. Oh, no. you mean <laughs> the baby in <laughs> the demon mouth? That's, well, that's too much for me. Hey, if that's too much for you, Mark, then you might you might have oh, to. No, it, have no. to no, no. There was a scene. No, no. There was a scene, Mark, before that that I didn't notice until later. It was you see like a dead kid slaughtered in the no! freaking street, and all you see is its head, its upper body, just like that this. is horrifying. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> I think that's bad. There is a good chance that within a few weeks we might we might have you know the anime we might be seeing, Berserk. Fuck you. <laughs> and you're coming along on this ride with us, Berserk. Great fucking. Anime. Oh god. Oh, isn't that like plus I'm plus I'm naming animes that are easy to get to because Delta Park Times on Netflix by the way. If you got it, you can just find I it. I can there. find you any anime you want. I know, but I'm saying like the audience, Dumb. whoever's listening to us, if they wanted to watch Dumb. it and they, you know, I can put a link in the description. Being on a conversation. But, yeah, that's about all we got today, that's man. That's about all we got. Pretty short podcast. I can't really think of anything. There was just so much garbage going on Yeah, right I mean, now. we got a lot of things out. We got a lot of things out. Like I said, um, Star Wars, we'll see what they're doing. We'll see how that turns out. I think it's going to be There's been good. some pictures on um, for, um, Last Jedi, which look kind of cool and interesting. I am, I'm excited for that movie. Uh, um, I don't know. After the first, after Force Awakens, I'm really hoping they don't pull another you know oh it's just the empire strikes back but that's what everyone's worried about that, because the first one was literally the new hope shot by shot and i was like how the 
hell did they do that? Get away with that? Because the fandom is real. <laughs> yeah, the fandom is. You real. can't blame them for playing it safe, though. They played it. Uh, no, I mean I don't. But it's just like you know, a- after after. Yes, you know, after the prequels, I can't. Yeah. I you know I get it. I do. I get it. But it's like shot by shot of the new hope. I mean, come dude, on. I know that. But now, but here's the thing. Now that they played it safe, and now they know everyone says you played it too safe. Now they're gonna do better. I, well, maybe. Well, oh, or no, maybe they might Hopefully. go too much, and then it's like, well, shit. It's like there's no pleasing people. Well, there's no. no pleasing you fans. Well, my only fear is that either a they're gonna basically do it again, but it's gonna be basically Empire Strikes Back with maybe different things in it, or it's gonna be so over the top, it's gonna just be completely unprocessable. I'm okay. I'm just that's my biggest. Fear. I'm just interested in them in them revealing Rey's origins. Uh, Thor Ragnarok comes out in two months. Yeah, it comes out in two months. November it, the third. Actually, the, no, three months. It comes out. In a week or two, like God. Think two weeks. <laughs> me and Steph are gonna go see gonna it. Wa- me um, and Deshaun are gonna I've watch heard, it. I've actually heard good things. I've heard this. Strange movie, enough, man. I've actually heard this movie is actually probably gonna be pretty good. So I'm kind of looking forward. I to I hope this. so because like I said, the original It was was just so corny. It was. It was that so clown still freaked me out. It's the, it, it, the, both of them freak me Those out. Those that clown particularly freaked me out. Yeah, mm-hmm. point. But you know, this one though, they're trying to go more. The new horror. one looks even. Yeah, creepy. The new more. one looks even creepier. Yeah, he's trying to go more. He horror. looks even creepier. Well, the, the the original one was so just. Ah, it's still. Granted, funny. it was a TV Jeez. movie. What? So it's like, yeah, it was a TV movie. God, if you think a TV budget's bad now? That new one was like back then. I didn't <laughs> see his costume back then. <laughs> yeah, it was like. Mm-hmm. By so, the way, I, if you actually watch the trailer. Um, the original guest character makes a cameo. There's a room where there's a bunch of clowns. He's in there. Oh, oh the, old Pennywise. the old Pennywise is in there. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's a nice little cameo. By the way, I have this to say, too. Um, how You guys want to make a bet that... Because Thor Ragnarok comes out November the 3rd. Oh, yeah. Justice League comes out literally, like, what, two weeks after that? Yep, two weeks after Thor but comes how out. How much... You want to bet they're going to blame Marvel if it's bad? <laughs> yeah. That and if it's going to make if it's going to pull a civil war. I could, see. BBS. I could I could see it. Well, but no, this movie, like I said, I've always said that Thor is all, the Thor series of Marvel Cinematic Universe has always been the uh, you know the silver records of the thing. Yeah. It's not, not the gold record, not the platinum records. It's the silver records. It's, it's, they're, they're good movies. They're, they're good just movies. Not great movies. They're not fantastic movies. They're not on their A list. Yeah, they don't <laughs> mind break. I mean, they, they, they not granted they they're brought not. in Loki, so you know they have one of the best villains, which is probably something like that elevates the, the like, movie. But, but this one does. This one looks like it's gonna go platinum. Yeah, this one looks it like looks it's gonna like be a fantastic. fantastic movie. All of us are gonna go see it together, man. It, I think it's gonna be a Thor Ragnarok. Then we're gonna, gonna go out for oh, yeah. beers. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, I think Thor. I, I think was like, it, y'all going by your damn self. Problem, Thor, problem yeah. is, I think Just League's gonna actually end up making more money when it comes out. You, well, it might take a hit. It might hit. It might make Thor take a hit. It might, but at the same time, like I said, I, the only reason why I think it might because it's it's titled Just the yeah, Justice the League. Justice it's, League. Like, it's like the only Justice reason I'm gonna go League. see it is because of nostalgia. I'm not seeing it because it might be a good movie. I've heard so I've heard so much garbage. I've heard so much shit that happened in development. I'm like. I've heard it was a shit show in during development. Yeah, like a shit show, <laughs> unwatchable. Apparently, the first I didn't know that, but it was like apparently it was unwatchable the first time they tried to. You really? know, it's when they finished I, making like, it. When I heard unwatchable, I was like, Jesus! Like, how can uh, like what they do? <laughs> Just like, and now they're trying. Well, that like I said, Josh Sweden, I hope can you know? Well, Josh Swinger, <laughs> but like, um, unwatchable. <laughs> that's a, like. Like, Hopefully, that's, that's, that's I was kind of very glad. bold he, claim. I was glad he, you know, he popped onto the picture to do it because, like I said, he, you know, he did good on the Avengers. Movie. He, he did good on the Avengers. That's why I was like, you know, he did good on the Avengers. Hopefully, he could do good for the Justice League. But then, all, then I just started hearing all the garbage that was happening around the I back. Mean, I was like, ca- oh my in case god! Anyone's confused, By the way, <laughs> in case anyone's confused on when I do the God of the Nerds, that's from the Avengers on Australia. Yeah, God, god of, of the, the Nerds, nerd. Josh Weed. But by the way, if you're um, another thing that they've had a problem with. Henry Cavill, you know, got to play Superman. He's going to be in the new Mission Impossible movie. He grew a beard. Uh, I mean, a mustache slash hey, beard. Hey, 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 hey. And they had to bring him back for reshoots. They like, shave the beard. But the guys making the Mission Impossible movie cost a lot of money just to wait, digitally wait, edit it. Why, why did they just... Wait, ki- well, you wait, 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 wait. Out of If they're doing, yeah. like, Resurrection wow. Superman, he had a beard. Well, like, they, they, don't, they, just... they don't want him to have a beard. Well, oh, my God. It, this, it fits. Because it's like... Mustache, it, when they... he was resurrected, he had a full fucking beard. And they it want was him... like... Not only did the pictures of him have a beard. But, but was, at the same time, it's like, this is perfect. Like, nope. Th- like this is all, perfect. Like all like, the teases that have been, come out for him from the so company now, have had him with a beard. So now they have to digitally edit out his fucking whole thing. And apparently, you think that would... You think, oh, that's just a beard. Apparently that costs a lot of money to digitally edit out a freaking beard. My question is, how do you digitally edit out a beard? I don't know. Like I said, it's I perfect. Because some like guy made a, 
joke re- that... Okay, okay. I was say, resurrected Superman, when he came out of the grave, one he's wearing, he, he, had, he had the black suit, yeah. and he had a beard. It was like, it fits, it's perfect, but uh, nope. Because they, they don't. DC doesn't trust their own it's fucking funny. comics. This one dude, they're like, these guys all follow made a hilarious joke about, man, now I'm going to be just looking at his face the whole time. Boy, just seeing so all just, the digital Just trying shit. to be like, can I tell? Can I tell? Where is it? <laughs> Boy, there's a problem with our movies. Let's be the comics. It's like, I'm well, no, at it's it, like they it. don't use any material from the comics. Like, Flash's suit is apparently what I read was a was made from an alien artifact or whatever. I thought it was made by NASA or something. No, no, it was it was some alien shit they found and they made it into a suit. So that bullshit. Uh, Wonder Woman killing the gods and all that bullshit. We already talked about that. Um, <laughs> like what else? Uh, Batman killing. Yeah, what a like, big ass. They don't gun care. They don't. They don't use any of their source I material. Liked it. It's so. Uh, Jaw draw. This is DC, and you're telling me they're they're not you they're not they're trying not to use their soul their own source material. Well, they're about to use Flashpoint. <coughs> <coughs> you know, Flashpoint. It's actually, I thought that sounds fun. No, Flashpoint's kind of a stupid. If you think idea. that's bad, I mean, I don't know. If we got enough time. Flashpoint's a dumbass idea. It's kind of going on, but the vi- like with the shit Sony's doing with the Venom movie. And oh yeah, the Black, Black Cat. Movie. And... Isn't that actually a legit part of the MCU? No, it's not. Uh, Apparently, it's Sony it's... universe. But they said Venom was going to be legit. No, and now they're saying no. It's kind of not a part of it. It's kind. Of... You didn't but... see that funny meme with Josh Whedon, and um, the... no, 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 not Josh Whedon. Um, Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige and the woman. Yeah. The look on his face when she was like, "It's a part of the universe," and he just went. Like, oh, it's wow. hilarious. Look, if you look it up, it's hilarious. He's just like... You say what? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or <laughs> the universe. Uh-huh. Uh, sure. Yeah, like, he had that look, and ever since then, like, they came out, and it's not really a part of it, so you're not going to see Spider-Man in their universe. They're not going to mention the Avengers. It's kind of like... I don't know what the hell Sony's doing right now. They're trying to make their own dark verse. At least we have the PS4. They're going to be rated R. At least we still got that PS4, bro. Got to be edgy. Granted, they got Tom Hardy to come in and play Venom, so... They got a much better console called the PS4. Who knows, man? Who knows? Not next Xbox But, yeah, um, there's not much else to talk about. Um, Please tell me that was a joke. It was. I was going to say, I it swear was a joke. to God. I swear to God. That was a joke. <laughs> all right, but um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. That's about all we got on our podcast today. All right. That's, that felt like about an hour long, did it? I Longer think we were longer than that. Almost. You're at 56 minutes. Oh, well, well, good enough. Cool. All right, guys, so this has been the... Comic and Movie Show podcast. We were just rambling, 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 rambling. Well, we got through a lot of topics today. Yeah, we did, but we rambled doing it too. So sort of. I mean, the, the whole Ty- uh, Tyson, the whole um, the Tyson what, Mayweather thing, fight Mayweather thing. That was, went up. That went up for. That's bit. not what we planned, but Mark decided to say it anyway. Well, I, so well, I figured it's a popular topic right now. Might as well. We're Comic and Movie Show, man. I mean, not whatever. It's, it's entertainment. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> it's such a t- whatever. <laughs> Found a loophole. It's still, it, like, it didn't really matter too much because it ended up being, being a pretty uh, short podcast for us. So, so anyway. Know, like, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you for joining us on the Comedy Movie Show podcast. So, we will, we, we wanted to do these every month, and, well, we kind of already, no, wait, our last podcast wasn't in August, was it? I don't think so. So, yeah, every month. So, <laughs> it might have been. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining us on Comic Game Movie Show. Now, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of us in the future, and we shall see you on next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.